Do you want to try one of these, big girl? Yeah. It's a little bit spicy. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, our family is driving down to downtown Kansas City today and we are attending the Tuba Christmas performance at the Kaufman Center which is this beautiful performing arts center. I'm really excited to go inside. We went there a couple of years ago to the Tuba Christmas performance and just loved it so I'm excited to go again. All right, so this is the Kaufman Center. It's a weird shape. Parking garages. So I have a distinct memory of this parking garage from last time we came here because when we came here, Jeremy forgot where we'd parked. Like he dropped off the kids and he went and parked and we ended up searching every single level of this parking garage for our car. Okay, you guys, we're on level two, don't forget. Got it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Caleb already told me he's done and the concert hasn't even started yet. This is a sold out performance. When you're two, that just happens. And sometimes it's hard as a parent to be patient or you get embarrassed in those situations. And I thought it was so sweet after the performance, the people behind us and the people on the side of us were saying, you know, your kids did so well. And we were apologizing, we're like, sorry. And they're like, she's two, that's what happens. And it's just really nice when you're around people that are understanding. It was hard though when I brought her out into this huge foyer because her screaming was deafening through the entire. It echoed. It's like the great hall of shame. Aww. Hey, Laura. Are you feeling better? gotten really good at escalators. All right, now all we have to do is find our car. And I think we remember, level two. Level two. Level two. So Jeremy and I think there might be something wrong with our camera. It looks bluish on the screen to me, which is just weird. Like I feel like I'm glowing blue. <laughs> having a great conversation on the drive home about how you move your lips to play the trombone. Wait, not the trombone. The tuba, we went to a tuba concert. It's really funny. So Kendra thought that the way you would play a tuba is to go like this with your lips. No, I did not. <laughs> And I was explaining because I played the trombone for a couple of years. And look at those lips. You, you, and as you want to play higher, you vibrate, you know, tighter. <laughs> okay, give it a try, Gubby. <laughs> Laura, can you give it a try? <laughs> Isaac. It takes me a while to get it, but I can't. You can't smile. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna kind of smile. Good job, Isaac. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I like your eyes on that one. So to clarify, I thought you played brass instruments like this. <laughs> No, 
I don't know if that make any noise at all. <laughs> okay, but apparently I needed to use more. Is that right? <laughs> we also talked about like when tubas were invented and what our favorite pieces were. We had an educated conversation, but it ended in all of us going. <laughs> so it is colder outside, but we gotta get the kids outside. They get stir crazy if they're in there too long. So we're bundling them up a bit and letting them play outside. Is it you two against Caleb? Yeah. Yeah. Caleb likes being by himself. <laughs> Down. Set. Hike. Get him. So Elise and I are going to get pizza and we're just looking at lights on the way. It is so much fun. I love how they put love up on the roof. Mm -hmm. And I love the colors. So, poll question. Do you decorate the outside of your house during the holidays? Let us know in the poll. So this holiday season, I am craving every treat under the planet. And so I have a new strategy. We're gonna make every treat in the planet and we're just making small batches and we can just enjoy the process of making it because that's part of what I love. Like I do love eating it, but I love like the nostalgia of making the different things. So this is something that my mom made when we were little kids. And so it was fun to be able to whip it together tonight. It's really fast and easy. It's just cornflakes and marshmallows and butter. And then you arrange it like a wreath. Have you guys had this before? No. There's Red Hots on it. What do you think of Red Hots? Oh yeah, we also tried some. And they're so hot. Are they spicy? Mm -hmm. They're really spicy. They remind me of hot tamales. Oh yeah. Hey Laura, what do you think of it? Um, I think it's sticky. You think it's sticky? It is sticky. What does it look like? It looks like a wreath. Just, just, just like our wreath. Yeah, just like we have a wreath on our door. Have we shown them a wreath on our door? I don't think so. After eons of time of never having a wreath, we finally got a wreath and put it up on our door. I'll have to show it to you guys in the daylight another day because it's dark out right now. I think I know what we can call it. What we can call the candy? Uh-huh. What? The candy wreath. The candy wreath. It's a good name. Wreath delight. Okay, I think it should be wreath yumminess. I yeah. think it should be called green boogers and chicken pox. <laughs> All right, who wants to try some? Me. Do you want to try one of these, big girl? Yeah. It's a little bit spicy. Okay. Don't choke to death. Don't choke to death. Laura's first red hot. Mmm. Mmm. Do it's hot. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that was like, what is happening? Yeah? Let me have one. Let me try one. Do I do this? Do this? Let me try one. Her eyes are getting a little bit red. <laughs> Let me try one. We're cutting the wreath. Mom, I think I can eat two red eyes. So after we eat our treat, we're gonna watch the Great Light Fight, which is yes, a fun we've Christmas been tradition. So excited about it! I love all the snuggles that we get when we're watching something. But I keep getting Isaac's hair up my nose. <laughs> Just took a really long time. Good night, J House out. His first name is Doctor, and his last name is Sue. Sue.